hey y'all. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Show Me Sherry. As you can see, we're back. I'm sorry, you gotta put up with us. <laughs> if you're new here, thank you for stopping in to hang out with us. If you like this kind of content, unboxings, reviews, favorites, hauls, um, I invite you to come back and watch another video. So today I have my sidekick. Uh, we are opening up the Celebrate States box and we like to open this one up together. Last time we were with you, we had the Oregon box. So I'm excited to see what we have this time. Let I wonder me... what state we have. I don't know, we're getting ready to find out. <laughs> all right, before we get into the box, I want to just tell you a little bit about Celebrate States. First of all, I wanna start out by saying thank you to the curator of this box. I reached out to him to see if he'd like to provide a promo code or a referral link or something to save y'all some money if you decide to do this box yourself. He was kind enough to give y'all 50% off. Wow. Half off. That's a lot. It is a lot. So if you use the code SHOWME50, that gives you 50% off a three month or six month subscription. That's half off y'all, half off. And it's such a fun box. It's a treat getting it because you just never know where you're going and then you get to learn about some of the states in our own country. Don't we, you like it? Yeah, we've got to try some really neat stuff out of these boxes. And I say, if you're a foodie, I'm gonna say there's usually something really good as far as a treat. We're both on diets. I mean, we're not supposed to have it. We're not on a diet. Well, it's not a we're diet. We're in the process of trying to lose weight. We're in the process of becoming healthy. Yes. And it's a lifestyle change. It's not just a temporary change. If you guys would be interested in a video um, where we talk about our own journeys together, um, just let me know down in the comments. I was approached by one of the viewers to talk about um, our journey, but uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys are interested. Um, I'm here to give y'all content that you want to see. Yeah, I will say he's at his goal weight. Pretty proud of him for that. I've had to work at it. I've, yep. got, I've gotten there so far. Yep. So now he's... Um, if I can maintain it now. <laughs> he will. He's in the maintenance phase and he's he's taken this very seriously. And honestly, y'all, I didn't think he would. I mean, I thought he would try, but I, I didn't I didn't know if he could actually do it. So I'm really proud of him. Okay, but on to this box. This is a monthly travel box. I call it a travel box because you get to travel virtually throughout this box to different states in our country. So you get a fun box every month that will highlight a different state. Uh, their mission is to support and promote local and family owned businesses. They like to shop small y'all. And um, I just love that. Highlighting things made in our country. So I love that, love that. That's nice. Yes. Okay, so what you'll see inside is six to seven full-size products, and that could include local food, which we've seen, <laughs> home decor, useful items, and fun interactive information on each state in the nation. The subscription choices that you have are monthly for $45 a month, and you can cancel that at any time, or a three-month subscription, which is also $45, but you commit to the three months, and in order to get your 50% off, you need to commit to a three or six month. So you would get that for half the price. And then a six month commitment is $39 a month. But again, show me 50 for half off that. Should it's... we show the front of the box? Yeah, we should. <laughs> Celebrate states. I also think this makes a really great gift. So if you have someone in your family or friends that's really hard to buy for, this is pretty unique and fun and you can get it for a good price. So it would make a really neat gift. Especially I think Especially so. for people who like to travel. Yeah, or people that maybe can't get out and they can travel virtually through the box. Mm -hmm. I honestly think that this would make an or, excellent gift. Or people that used to be able to travel and can no longer travel and this is a way that they can still feel like they're somewhat traveling, I guess. Let's get into the box. That's the fun part. All right, here we go. We can do surgery. <laughs> So I wonder what we have in, in here. What state? What do you guess? Mm, Texas. Arkansas. 
Arkansas. I say Arkansas. All right, let's let's open it in front of the camera so they get to see first. It should say. What's that say? Aloha Hawaii. Aloha yeah. Hawaii. We've been to Hawaii. We have been to Hawaii. Don't think we're rich, y'all. We're not. We got no. a free trip. <laughs> I'll take the paperwork. Look how festive it looks. The first thing you see is a lei on top. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> it brings out the beautiful blue in his eyes. Okay, so we got a lei. And what else do we have? Oh, neat, y'all. Look. It's all in this really cool um, Ooh, surfboard like bag. Beach bag. Wow. That's cool. I like that. Very fun, colorful. It's Just, like it's waterproof too. Yeah. Kind of be great to take to the beach. So he's gonna pull something out. Let's see what it is. Oh, a snack. There's always a snack. Chocolate covered, toffee coated Hawaiian macadamia nuts. Wow. I love toffee. Well, they do have lots of uh, macadamia nut products when we was over there, we did see. Yes, they farm macadamia nuts. That's one of the things that they farm there. But I gotta tell you a little story. You know, I have my squirrel moments. Um, I gotta tell you a little story. So we never thought we would see Hawaii, but my brother had a business down there and um, he flew us down there and we stayed with him for two weeks. Anyway, we were really excited to be able to see um, all the tropical flowers and we both really love coconut flavored things. So as we were waiting for our plane, I said to we, him- We love things with coconut in them. What did I say? We love coconut flavored. You like the actual coconut texture. Yeah, but I like coconut flavor too. Yeah. It needs to taste like coconut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, back to the story. So we're waiting for our first uh, flight. And I said to him, just think, we're on the way to a place that has coconut everything. And we thought we'd be in heaven, y'all. I was really disappointed. They don't have coconut. What they have is... Hapia. Hapia. Do y'all know what Hapia is? <laughs> hapia is not coconut or coconut flavored things. It's things made with coconut milk. All right, coconut milk doesn't taste like the coconut that they put in cookies and cakes. No, no. nothing, nothing no. like it. No, and it wasn't um, sweet. We searched everywhere and all we could find on the entire island was hapia. Very disappointing to a couple of coconut lovers, mm -hmm. so. But you can find Spam everywhere you look. Spam in every flavor you can imagine. They even have it at McDonald's. Serve it for breakfast, don't they? They serve it for all meals there. Yeah. Spam <laughs> and, is served at McDonald's. Yes. In, in Hawaii. So the first time I saw a pineapple in Hawaii was at Sam's. And we were with my brother. And I remember asking Sean, what kind of variety of pineapple is that? I've never seen one that color before. And I just assumed it was some kind of a hybrid or, or a special kind that they grew there. And you know what his response was? It's ripe. <laughs> You've never seen a ripe one. They're a totally different color. <laughs> Taste different too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. They are so much better. We also visited while we were there a place called The Ranch. Well, no, it was called Kualoa Ranch. And that was so cool. That was, we did a whole day tour and it's a, it's a family owned, I believe, family owned, been in a family for, for generations. This beautiful ranch. Large ranch. Yeah, huge. Um, and that is where Hollywood goes. So the movies that they film on location in Hawaii uh, are usually filled on the, are usually filmed on the ranch, like the series Lost. Um, they did all of their years of filming on that ranch. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. And a lot of the props are still left behind. Mm -hmm. People can view those. Yeah. And you know, walk around them. What else that was really big that was filmed there? 
There's been some music videos um, filmed there. Pearl Harbor? Was that? <laughs> Which one? No, I mean the where the planes flew in in one of the movies, the war movies. That Oh, yeah, that was Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor was filmed, a lot of it, at the ranch. Some of, some of Pearl Harbor. Some of Pearl Harbor was filmed at the ranch, but they also filmed on Pearl Harbor, which we were unfortunate um, enough to see. That was really, really Highly cool. recommend if you go to Hawaii and don't miss Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the Arizona Memorial. Uh, they were, it was under, con not under construction, but being, um, what's that called? Remodeled. Basically, they were working on it. <laughs> they were working on the. <laughs> they were working on the Arizona Memorial, so we didn't get to see they that. They took us on a little boat around close, but we didn't get to get off the boat and walk walk across it. Yes, we did see the oil still seeping after all these years. It's still seep seeping. The it was um, before Pearl Harbor was attacked. They had just filled uh, that tank, and you can still see all that coming to the surface. Mm-hmm. Has an oil film on the surface. It was real light. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we have. All right. So I really want to try these for y'all. Oh, you know what? They got melted. They're solid. That's completely like hard as a rock solid. I, I couldn't try this if I wanted to. Um, yeah, no. Highly... We, take, we take a hammer and bust off a chunk. Yeah, we're going to have to take a hammer and bust off, but... These look really good. These look really good. Mm. 100% Hawaiian grown macadamia nuts. Okay, let's see what's next. We have an Aloha lemon cashew bar, protein bar, it looks like. Another snack. Aloha. Organic protein bar. So this is a plant-based protein. Like you said, it's lemon, cashew flavor, non-GMO certified, USDA organic. The entire bar is 230 calories, 10 grams of fat, and 26 carbs. So it's very, very soft. It's a soft bar. So we might be able to take a pinch to let you know if it's any good. How many grams of protein does this say? 14. 14 grams, 14 of, grams protein. of protein. So let's see if this Aloha Bars. It's made in Littleton, Colorado, y'all. Okay. Well, it's still made in the U.S. Um, Aloha is a health and wellness company that focuses on vegan, non-GMO protein bars. All Aloha products are low in calories and gluten-free. The company donates a portion of their revenue to philanthropic, is that the right way to say that? Philanthropic? Philanth philanthropic? Yeah. Philanthropic. That doesn't sound right. Are you sure? I think. I don't know. You're the smart one of this bunch. <laughs> Supposed to be. Philanthropic. Philanthropic. Blah. That word. <laughs> Organizations. We have added two delicious, delicious flavors to your box. So there should be another one in there. So we got lemon cashew. Is there another? Do you feel another one? Oh, ah. yeah, there is another one. We got two, two of the same flavor. Two of the same flavor. So. Oh. So you have yours and I have mine. Yeah. Darn. I was hoping for a different flavor. I'm not gonna I can't eat this. Okay, so let's uh let's take a pinch. I have a feeling that Brad's gonna get these. Doesn't really have much of a smell. Do you think? A little bit. He backs uh, it up like I'm gonna bit. like smash well, it in know, his face. I don't trust you. Oh, there. Get you a little piece off. I, I don't smell anything. Ready? Mm -hmm. I taste lemon. What do you think? 
I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not overly sweet, which I appreciate. Because when you haven't been eating sugar, sugar can be really sweet. It's not bad. No. I like the lemon. All right. Let's see what's next. Fresh natural travel soaps. Travel soaps. soaps. That's pretty lid. Kind of a little tin. Well, you open that up, we'll see if there's something about it. Oh. Oh, wow. It's like a little rainbow of soaps. It smells like soap. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says one time use soap slices, assorted fragrances. It says, Lamakai Bath and Body's collection of all natural bath and body skincare products are inspired by the beautiful Lanakai Beach on the island of Oahu. We went to that beach. Mm -hmm. These are all organic too. Cool. That's the beach that was beautiful that apparently um, President Obama likes to... Um, frequent? Yes. Where President Obama likes to frequent. And... It was probably the last beach I think we checked out. And we didn't get to stay long because um, my brother and I went in and it wasn't long and he thought he got stung by something. And so we got out and went to the, to the beach to sit. And he just, he just kept saying that it just felt stronger and stronger. Pretty soon he had this huge whelp come up on his body and um, while we were there at that point, at that time, while we were there, there was an outbreak of um, Japanese, what's that called? Man of Wars. Yes, Japanese Man of Wars. Usually, they don't have an issue with those. So, he was he was stung by one of those. And I was standing right next to him. Yeah, so he I, had a nice stripe right across his several, chest. Several, several from several all the, tenta the tentacles. tentacles. Got yes. him. And my brother, my brother said, my poor brother. He said he's only been stung twice in his entire life. And he has, he was living in Hawaii, you know, and we were in Destin, Florida years and years ago, and he was stung by jellyfish. He has lived in California, y'all. He has lived in Hawaii. He's been to so many beaches. And he said to me on the beach, I've only been stung twice in my life and you were there both times. So apparently I'm bringing him bad luck at the beach. <laughs> I don't know, but... Anyway, I just had to tell that story. You know my squirrel moments. They are made in small amounts, so they are always fresh. They only use natural ingredients from the islands. That's really cool. We hope you enjoy these summer travel soaps. Well, there's a green one. I bet that's palm. They got pieces of something in them. Mm-hmm. See, there's a little piece. They've been next to each other, so right now they just kind of smell like each other. But I guess when you lather up, it'll, it would be like a totally different scent. Mmm. It would smell different? Yeah. Oh, it smell. Mmm, <laughs> that one smells good. Mm. It's pretty, too. All right, so that's fun. I love the fact that you could, since they're single use, I love the fact that it's all in this tin. So if you, whenever you go to pack and travel, you can just drop that in your bag and you have all those soaps. Cool. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Something. A jar. Surfs up candle? Mmm. Okay, there's the surfs up candle. What is the scent? Hawaiian sun? Is that the scent? All right, I need glasses. Hawaiian sun, soy candle, made in New Jersey. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is all Hawaiian themed. This is a Hawaiian themed box. Oh. Does it smell like Hawaii? Mmm, that smells good. Mm. What do you think that smells like? 
I don't know, but it smell, does smell good. It smells sort of familiar to me. It's fruity. It smells fruity, doesn't it? It has a really nice smell. Mmm. Let's see what that says. Surf's Up Candle, Belmar, New Jersey, a single mother of four, oh, began making candles in her crock pot after visiting a festival. With over 50 fragrances and eight products, Surf's Up opened its first retail shop in 2017. What sets them apart is their passion and drive to create an all-natural handmade product that customers have come to trust and love. That smells amazing. It has a lot of scent in it. It does. I'm sure it has a great throw in your room. You shouldn't throw candles in your room. <laughs> That's what they You may hurt somebody. <laughs> That's what they call it when it fills the room with fragrance. Oh. I thought you'd throw candles and I say you wax and everything, you know, the big mess. It just You would know he's done that. He had oh, one. We don't up. want to talk about No, we don't he was about. <laughs> But we do, don't we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. He was making candles. When those grubby looking candles were really popular, we got a mold and he was he was enjoying, you know, making candles. We sometimes like to do some crafts and stuff. And he was making a candle and no one was home but him. And it happened to be red. I needed supervision and I didn't have any. <laughs> That's for sure. So yeah, when I got home that day, Shelby and I both, yeah. Anyway, when I got home that day. Candle dye makes one heck of a mess if the bottle explodes. Let me tell you, it was a red candle dye. And when she got home, it looked like I murdered somebody in our kitchen. Yeah, that's what I, I mean, it really seriously looked like somebody was slaughtered in our kitchen. Yeah, red dye, you know, say, and it didn't come out of the bottle. Something got plugged up. You shouldn't squeeze a little harder to try to get it to come out. You should try to open the opening up to something else. Don't squeeze it real hard because the end popped out and you can guess what happened. He really needs to come with a warning sign or, you know, a precaution. Yeah. But this smells so familiar and I cannot, I cannot pin it. Melon. Is that what it is? Is that honeydew? I can't. I don't know what I it is. Say what it is. I'm not sure. It smells really good. I know. Oh, that. it's so good. And I love the story. That's so sweet. A single mom of four finding a creative way to support her family. Love that. I admire somebody that's willing to take on a project like that. Oh, you know her hands are full, for sure. Oh, I'm sure, yes. Well, that's, I like that candle. That's a really good one. Okay, what's next? Don't throw it, though. <laughs> Is that the last item? This is the last item. He can't pronounce that. Miami Fruit Jewels. No. It's he needs Wallachai passion fruit, but what is it? He needs to wear glasses, y'all. Oh, exotic fruit jellies. Oh. Let me read what it really says. Maui, not Miami, Maui fruit jewels, confection extraordinaire. Lily Koi, Passion fruit, Lily Koi, Lily Koi. I believe I remember that while we were there. It's some kind of a fruit, or is it a flower? It's a fruit or a flower. Sounds like a woman's name to me, Lily. No, it's Lily Koi. No, it's not, it's not a name. Lily Koi, passion fruit. First name Lily, last name Koi? No, it's one word. <laughs> well, if it's Koi, it sounds like a fish. Yes. Lily, Lily Koi, but kind it's not. Kind of like a goldfish? It's not though. It's it's a flower or a fruit. I think it's a fruit. Lily Koi passion fruit. You get six pieces. Pieces. Let's open it up and see. Hawaii grown fruits. 100%. Okay, you open it and I'll read about it. Okay. Hawaiian king candies from Honolulu, Hawaii. We went to Honolulu. Mm -hmm. For over 42 years, Hawaiian King Candies has been Hawaii's premier macadamia nut confections. 
The candies use locally grown macadamia nuts and premier chocolate for these world-renowned delicious treats. They bring you a bit of aloha, one bite at a time. You've had your nails done. You look better. His nails are dirty. What are you doing? Getting to where you can see me. <laughs> oh, you know they need to see you, don't they? Right. Okay, let's see what the calories and stuff says. I don't quite understand this. It looks like a fruit jelly, but I don't think it looks like chocolate. Let me see. Ingredients. Pulp of locally grown lily koi passion fruits with seeds. I told you it was a fruit. Organic cane sugar, glucose, pectin water, and citric acid. Serving size is two pieces. Amount per serving is 30 calories. No fat, eight carbs. It has some fiber, total sugars are eight. So it has a little too much sugar, but I would like to take a little nibble and see what that fruit tastes like. Do you want a little nibble? We can save the rest for Brad. Yeah, I'll try a little nibble. It stinks, y'all. Stinks? It does. And it's like jelly. I don't like jello. It's not is that it, firm. Is it gummy? Like a gummy? I don't know how to describe it. It has the seeds in it. It tastes like a prune to me. It doesn't taste bad, but I don't like smell. It has fiber. I think it tastes kind of prunish. Yeah, it's very yeah. sticky. Uh-uh. Doesn't taste bad. Uh -uh. It smells horrible though. Yeah. If I hadn't read the um, ingredients first, I would have thought that was poi in jelly form. Tastes like dirt. Yeah. Because that's what I hear poi tastes like is dirt. Mm-hmm. That's one thing we did not try in Hawaii. We were warned about it. Yeah. Okay, and then the beach bag is from Alo Aloha Beach Bag. It's time to hit the beach with this durable surfer beach bag. Perfect for towels, sunscreen, and other beach essentials. Also makes a great bag for groceries or other shopping. That's true. That's a really nice big size bag. Okay, so it looks like this time we got a lot of snacks. Snacks are always fun. Mm -hmm. um, but that candle was probably my highlight. I thought that smelled so good. The other boxes we got, it was stuff made in those states, right? Well, I think so, but the stuff that isn't made in the states are used with ingredients from the state, so. Yeah, it says ingredients in these, ingredients from that state. Yeah. But I thought the other boxes were actually products made in that state. This is a Hawaii themed box. Well, it says it celebrates dates. Our mission is to support small businesses in the United States. Our Hawaiian Aloha box features three items directly from Hawaii and other Hawaiian themed items made in the U.S. So they're all made in the United States, and then but they have a Hawaii theme. A little, a little extra information about Hawaii. We begin by welcoming you to Hawaii with the traditional gift of a lei. The lei custom was introduced to the Hawaiian islands by early Polynesian voyagers who took an incredible journey from Tahiti, navigating by the stars in sailing canoes. With these early settlers, the, the lei tradition in Hawaii was born. Today, visitors can easily bring back the nostalgia of old Hawaii by ordering a traditional flower lei greeting for their arrival at the airport. My brother, my brother gave us. He did that when we showed up. Yeah, we uh, he he got both of us um, lays with orchids, wasn't it? Orchids, uh -huh. yeah, orchids. an orchid lay. Greeters welcome visitors with a warm aloha, and adorn them with beautiful fresh lays. It's a wonderful way to begin a Hawaiian vacation. There are, however, a couple of unspoken rules one should know when receiving a lay for the first time. I didn't know about any rules. I didn't either. Okay. A lei should be a welcomed celebration of one's person's affection to another. 
Therefore, always accept a lei, never refuse. The proper way to wear a lei is gently draped over the shoulders. <laughs> Ooh, sexy. <laughs> am I proper now? Yeah. <laughs> they are made in, no, where am I at? Right next to me. <laughs> Therefore, I know, hanging down both in front and in the back. Okay, now he's, there we go. He needs to wear that to dinner tonight, don't you think? Wear that to the luau? <laughs> Are we going to a luau tonight? It's too hot in Missouri to go to a luau. All right. Um, it is considered rude to remove a lei from your neck in the presence of the person who gave it to you. I didn't know that. So if you must, be very discreet. Um, let's see. Hawaii is composed of eight main islands. I didn't realize there were eight. And I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of these, I'm sure. Nihau, Nihau, Kauai, Oahu, Molokai, Lanai, Kahulawe, Kahulawe, and Island of Hawaii. The Hawaiian word aloha is used as a simple greeting and has a cultural and spiritual significance to native Hawaiians. By the way, in case you didn't know, the W in Hawaii is actually pronounced there as a V, Hawaii. I think that's interesting. It is also a word for love, affection, and peace. Oahu is the most visited islands. Oahu is the most visited island. Billboards are not allowed and Hawaii does not observe daylight savings time. They also do not have, in case you don't know this, they don't have any snakes, no snakes. So that's the only place. She felt safe. Mm -hmm. It's the only place I could just go traipsing into the jungle and I didn't have to worry. It's pretty nice. So on Pearl Harbor, um, there was motion right underneath my feet and I knew it was some sort of an animal or something, but I didn't get scared because I knew there wasn't any snakes. It happened to be a mongoose. I had never seen one before. Which mongoose kill snakes. And eat them. So maybe that's why they don't have any snakes. <laughs> I don't know. It was a very unique cultural experience. We definitely felt like we were in a foreign country, even though it's a state in our country. They do have geckos. I didn't see any. We was at the Luau and I had one crawling up my leg, a little, oh, bit, yeah. little bitty one. I remember that now. They also had a peacock, a, a feral peacock and, and chickens and everywhere. Chickens. They have chickens running all over the place. They're not very big, you know, say, but they're wild chickens running over the, running around the whole island. Yeah, nobody, nobody owns them. They're just wild. So I guess the state of Hawaii owns them. Okay. Well, they can't get off the island. I don't think chickens can fly, can they? Not very well. Not that far. Now, we did see a sea turtle. That was like one of the highlights of my life. A hanu. Yeah, they're called hanu. And um, they're protected. They're roped off. And you can't touch them. But you can sit around there and sit around them and be close to them. And the one that we got to see, they, they have marked these turtles that come to the, to the beach um, on... A regular basis and the one that we were sitting next to her name was Olivia she was 44 years old and she was beautiful absolutely beautiful that was a neat experience we definitely want to go back someday if we can to um, one of the more one of the more tropical islands um, Oahu is the is like a metropolitan city in a sh in a small area I mean lots of vertical buildings and that's where all the exported or exporting and importing happens. Um, we saw lots of, what are those called? Carrier? No. What are those? Cargo ships? Yes. Cargo ships. We saw lots of cargo ships while we were there. That's also where the, um, that's also where the airport is located. So everyone that goes into Hawaii, I believe comes into Honolulu. Yeah. When we were there the entire two weeks, there was no trade winds. Apparently, we went in last of September, 1st of October, the year we went. And apparently they have trade winds that keep it very cool. There were none. 
too. It was still it got pretty warm. It was hot. It wasn't warm. It was hot. It was hot. Like 110. It wasn't that hot. It felt like it. I couldn't put a stitch of makeup on the whole time we were there. It would have just melted right off. I didn't get to enjoy the luau that we went to because it was just too hot. Okay, so they put um, a really fun little factoid uh, coloring activity, like placemat, all about Hawaii. I can do that later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a word search. And... No, I was kind of hoping to do the word search. Okay, I'll do the maze and you can do the word search. Or do you want to vice versa? I want to get the crayons out. I want to color. That does sound kind of fun. I love the smell of the new crayon box. All right, so this was our Celebrate States box. Um, I liked this one. I do still think that my favorite that we've received so far has been Alabama. Mm -hmm. We've done three. We've done Alabama, Oregon, and now Hawaii. So I'm, I, I get so excited to see what um, state we're going to get the next month. So what's your favorite item out of there? My favorite item in the box, I believe, is that candle. It smells amazing. What's yours? I would have to say the candle. It's, it's good, it y'all. It has a really nice smell to it. But if I could eat these, I'm sure my favorite would be these. I love toffee and chocolate together. Oh. But nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. I'm going to say, and then I've always, I got the lay too. Yeah, I'm going to make him wear that to dinner. Don't think I won't? No, I'm going to challenge you. I've been challenged before. Okay, so until we meet again, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Aloha. Aloha.